Well, during its decades of neglect and decay, many kids spent the time playing paintball and tagging the walls of Michigan Central Station with graffiti. One of those kids who left his mark playing paintball is now walking around the building with a toothbrush washing those marks <laughs> off because he is one of the superintendents helping to restore it. Uh, our group of friends mainly had orange, so possibly us, but yeah, this was uh, the jungle the play urban jungle for us. Manny Martinez walks through the halls of Michigan Central Station reminiscing on the building's worst days. We had a group of friends that came in here before and played uh, paintball. So we've ran around this building. Um, I want to say too often, but it was our urban playland. Growing up in southwest Detroit, Martinez describes the building as somewhat of a backdrop for his childhood, never imagining at that time it would one day be restored. Coming in as a, as a kid, it, it wasn't really anything that stood out other than that's a really cool place to go play some paintball. And it wasn't until I got older that it was like, man, this is a, an amazing place. Um, and it has a lot of potential. Martinez, a DPSCD graduate, went on to the University of Michigan, earning three degrees, including a dual master's in 2015 in architecture and construction management. Is, uh, this is a prime example of how we left some things in place to show its history yeah. um, and then the new Right. surrounding it. Today, Martinez is one of Michigan Central Station's superintendents overseeing the restoration of the tower and exterior. So when you found out they were going to restore it and you got word that you could come in and kind of help with some of that, what was that like? Um, the day I got the phone call that I was going to be part of the train station team, that was, in my career, that was one of the phone calls that basically put me on, on a pedestal and the, like the high horse is just super happy. The building has a lot of significance. And the number one thing is pursuing my dream to give back to my community. What more than a building, you know, not, that's not just for the city or in the city, but a building that's actually significant that I've been in, that I've seen the decay, I've created some of the decay and now I can actually be part of the restoration. It's just incredible. And talk about a full circle moment here. Manny and his family moved here from the Dominican Republic for a better life when he was just 10 years old. He never really saw himself as a college material until he met Tyrone Winfrey Sr., who helped a lot of DPS students at that time. A lot of you may remember him. Helped a lot of students get into college and the rest is history. So if you didn't grab tickets to this sold out Michigan Central reopening concert, we have you covered. Local 4 is your home to watch all of this unfold. It's full of headliners like Diana Ross, Big Sean, Jack White, Jelly Roll, so many more. Be sure to tune into Local 4 and Local 4 Plus for the show. Our coverage starts at 8 p.m. Thursday.